Welcome to our tutorial about the hem tool. Let's start by creating a primary plate. We'll bring in a rectangle, right click, done. Let's make it a square, add equal relations. Dimension it. Let's make D0 50 millimeters. OK and exit the sketch. Finish sketch. Let's activate the face tool and accept the default options and click OK. Now let's activate the hem tool. First we select an edge. We're only able to select one edge at a time with this tool. If I want to change my selection I need to click on the activate edge selection button again. Here we can flip the direction of the hem. From the type drop down menu we can select from four different types of hems. Let's expand this dialog window by clicking the double arrows. Width extents. These specify the extent of the hem. I'm going to select width. Let's accept the default value of 10 millimeters and click OK. Let's zoom in close. Here you see a bend relief was added. We're going to talk about this in subsequent tutorials. For now, let's talk about how we can remove the rest of this rim. Let's double click on the hem and go to the bend tab. Under minimum remnant, I'll enter D0. Let's enter D0 for the value of minimum remnant. Let's click OK and the rim is gone. OK, let's double click on our hem and edit it again. Under extents, let's select edge. Let's take a normal view. I want to take a look at the different hem types now. We've been looking at a single hem. We're able to flip the direction by clicking here. The length of the hem. This is measured from the top edge of the plate to the bottom edge of the hem. Currently the length is four times the thickness. Let's make it 4.5. As you see the gap between the hem and the plate is equal to half of the thickness. The top edge of the hem is tangent to this edge of the plate. To make it more obvious, let's increase the gap to 1.5 for example. And let's take a look at the next type of hem, teardrop. With this type, we're able to control the hem radius and angle. Let's make it two times the bend radius. And let's make the angle 250 degrees. The gap between the hem and the plate is a quarter of the thickness. The angle can't be less than 180 degrees, keep that in mind. If the angle is too large, let's try an example of that. We're going to have an interference issue, let's check it out. I'll enter 320, and here is my interference. Let's return the angle to 270 degrees. The gap, as you see, stays constant at a quarter of the thickness of the material. And let's review the next type of hem, a rolled hem. Once again, we're able to modify the hem radius as well as the hem angle. Let's change the hem radius to the bend radius value and click OK. All right, let's double click on hem 1 to make a few more adjustments. The last type of hem is a doubled hem. With a doubled hem, we control the gap and the length of the hem. The length of the hem is measured from the bottom of the hem and this edge of the plate. The closing gap here is a quarter of the thickness. And the gap between the plate and hem, as well as the gap within the hem, is set to half the thickness. Let's change that value to 1.5 times the thickness. And let's change the length to 6 times the thickness. Click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about the hem tool.